your piece of work as a queer artist does not need to represent everybody queer. You can actually write work that is selfish, that you can write work that is specific, that you can write work that is from a certain point and that you don't need to do the heavy lifting of a whole community when you make your work. Because God forbid, then you'll never finish the first draft. Just be brave. Be brave and take risks and have fun. Be kind to yourself, little babbies. <laughs> Start writing sooner. I think I waited for a long time for people to give me jobs or give me the kind of work that I would like to do. And I'd probably just have sat myself down and said, you're really creative and you love telling your own stories. So put pen to paper as soon as you can and get on that craft. Go for it, to follow your instincts, to make the thing that your instincts are telling you to make and worry about how other people think about it or feel about it after. So often I think we stop ourselves at the first hurdle because we're so worried about what people may think. And you can worry about that after you've done the thing and made the thing, like follow your instincts first. Read everything, listen to music all the time, see as much art as you can, visit museums, visit galleries, get outside in nature and make friends with people that have a different way of seeing the world than your own. And discipline is a terrific route to freedom. And don't be afraid of discipline. Just stop calling it the fear industry. Like some, that's the first thing. Like, I don't even really know what you mean when you say the fear industry. And sometimes I think it's like this thing that we continue to say, so it builds up even more walls. My advice would be to learn that some of the best theater happens outside of the industry. That some of your best learning lessons, your best relationships, your best collaborations will happen outside of the industry. And so if you continue to place all this like big onus on this like theater industry, then you scare yourself out of it. Try not to suck up to gatekeepers. I know there's places that we all really want to be and there's people in charge of those places, but try not to sacrifice parts of yourself in order to get into those spaces. I think the most important thing that I could say to anyone is just to network with your peers, make friends and make like working relationships with people who are around your age or interested in the same things as you. Those are the relationships that are going to carry you far. Never ever let anybody tell you that you are too camp too gay, too queer, or too brown to be anywhere, because that is not on. I also think that you shouldn't see it as networking. Um, that's always what I think. I think it's about making friends. It's about trying to find people that you chime with um, who understand what you're trying to do and the things that you want to say. I've learned that like to just do what I love and to do it with the people that I love and I'm inspired by. And whether or not they decide to call that theatre or not is up to them. You make what you want to make. I think I probably just would have told myself to have believed in myself um, sooner when it came to writing um, and to maybe be a bit more ballsy. But I think that's come with more confidence. I think you kind of need to meet yourself where you're at um, and be really kind to yourself. That would be my main thing. I quite like the artist that I'm evolving into, still learning. But if I design anything differently, then I wouldn't be me. And I can't like live in what ifs. There's definitely stuff that I would advise people not to do. One of those big ones is letting your personal life and your life outside of your creative side be wary how much that can seep into be it a rehearsal room. How is that affecting your creativity? And I definitely try and have a happy balance and not let one kind of creep too much into the other. I guess what I would have done differently is like there's so many rehearsal rooms that I wish I could go back on and be more present or um, realise that like the end point of making the show is important but actually the other parts are like just as important if not more so important just be kind to yourself and it's sometimes a really difficult um industry to negotiate but everything comes in good time and what's for you won't go by you so take care of yourself and have fun outside of what you do be a full rounded person who does other things because yeah you don't want to kill yourself can't come and kill myself for this industry. That would be <laughs> something I'd do it differently, yeah. Happy LGBTQ History Month, woo! <laughs>